Hello, thank you for inviting me to talk about our book. My name is Keir Lewis. I'm a reader in respiratory medicine in the College of Medicine here in Swansea, and I'm also a consultant lung doctor in Howaldar NHS Health Board. A few years ago, I was doing a ward round as a training doctor, and uh, a consultant called Dr. Hugh Llewellyn came up to me and had the idea after our ward round about writing this book. This is a, a medical textbook aimed at doctors of all specialities, GPs, general medical doctors, surgical doctors, and training doctors, medical students. And it lists various medical diseases and illnesses. But traditionally, most medical textbooks talk about the disease first. You start with, for example, this is asthma, this is wheeze, this is breathlessness. But in real life, we all start with the patient first, or we should start with the patient first. And these people come with different symptoms or they come with different signs or findings that you have to examine. So our book is more of a sort of back-to-front textbook. So you start with a list of symptoms, for example, cough and breathlessness. And then there's a list of important illnesses, life-threatening illnesses or very common illnesses. And if you have more leads or clinical clues, you say cough and wheeze and breathlessness and chest pain. So you turn to a different page. So each page, it works as a sort of uh, logical way of get into the final diagnosis. And at the bottom of each page, it has a list of different illnesses, but also importantly, what kind of tests you should be doing, what are the initial tests, or who you should refer to. There is now a short uh, section as well on management of these diseases, what to do immediately if it's life-threatening, but also what to do and what tests you can do that could save time and progress to get closer to the final problem. So this, this textbook, uh, the first textbook was, first edition was released in 2003, and that sold about 11,500 copies. It took us lots of meetings and lots of drafts, but because it was a success, we went to the second edition, which was published in 2008, and that's our current one. This has sold about 20,500 copies, so in total our lifetime sales are doing quite well and are above our publisher's expectation, with about 32,500 copies. More excitingly, this has been translated now for a US version and its translations into Spanish, Greek, Portuguese and Turkish. And finally, there's now an iPhone version available on, as an app. We're in discussion now with our, uh, our publishers whether we have the time or, or effort really to do a third edition, as of course medicine is always changing. I found this a, a, a very enjoyable project. I've learned a lot from it. Um, I learned how different people think. And I certainly pay a lot of respect to my co-authors. Um, one is now working in, in, in the Far East. There's another one who's a GP in West Wales. And of course, Dr. Llewellyn, who had the original idea and brought us all together. So this was a team effort, and, and I hope we've all learned from it. It's closely based on this uh, College of Medicine's problem-based learning approach. And, and that's another thing that I think we should promote more within medic medical training.